What's up everybody, this is Karai Code back again giving you guys a new video today. This video will be the top 5 best screen recorders slash game screen recorders that you guys can get that are absolutely free to use. Now, keep in mind that some of these screen recorders have its own pros and cons. Um, only two of them that I'm going to show in this video are good for uh, game recording while the rest are good for screen recording so just keep that in mind as uh, these are free but there are also pros and cons so starting off with number one we have ice cream screen recorder this is a pretty good screen recorder if you guys are looking into uh, recording a desktop screen and maybe if you're looking into doing tutorials uh, ice cream screen recorder is pretty decent the only con I can see about this screen recorder is that uh, you do have a time limit of 10 minutes which I find extremely reasonable 10 minutes is perfectly fine for a screen recorder because it's not like you're going to record longer than that. And if you want to record more, you just stop the recording, record again, and merge the clips together. But Ice Cream Screen Recorder is pretty damn good, uh, if you ask me. It's good for beginners, too. So to record the Ice Cream Screen Recorder, you click on Capture Video. You select an area to record. It can be anywhere. Just drag. And if you want to capture your whole screen, you can just type in 1920 by 1080 or click the drop down menu and go to 1080p and that way it will record your whole desktop screen now the cool thing about ice cream screen recorder also is that there is no watermarks and if you guys get any messages to upgrade a pro click do not show again just click x and then you guys should be good to go but like i said there is no watermarks and it's completely free to use which is pretty neat anyways you guys are seeing that i'm recording right now and when you hit control shift s it stops the recording the video is saved so when we click on it and open it up you guys are going to see that it plays and looks perfectly fine and really good quality too awesome alright so now what I'm gonna show you guys is basically a, a converter tool online where you can convert the W web file to a mp4 so it's gonna be this site called convertico.co or convertio.co once you guys are here you just click on a uh, from computer right here and select the file and basically convert it to an mp4 because if you're using Sony Vegas Pro you cannot put in .w uh, webm web files onto Vegas but if you convert it to an mp4 it should work perfectly fine all right coming at number two we have what's called iSpring FreeCam this is a free recording tool also as well um, it is completely free when you're on a download page, just enter a fake email and click free download. You don't have to enter your real information, which is good. And just click the free download button and let for it to download. Now, iSpring FreeCam, in my opinion, is a little bit better than a uh, ice cream screen recorder because uh, this you have no time limit. iSpring FreeCam, you can record as long as you want, and it's somewhat a little bit easier to use and it saves in a proper format as well so this is a really good screen recorder I recommend you guys checking this one out but uh, basically just as before you adjust your settings and you click the record button and you guys have a countdown and basically it records now um this software is really good too if uh, you can't afford Camtasia or you just want to start off slow Ice Spring Free Cam is a pretty amazing at what it does and like I said it, it's only free I don't think there is a uh, paid version to the software, so that's what they did. Another cool feature is you can edit your clips. Um, you can upload it directly to YouTube and do a lot of cool stuff. So if I click edit right here, as you guys can see, um, I can up the volume, adjust it. I can remove noise, and it's pretty damn clean if you ask me. And again, it's free. That's the best thing for the most part because a lot of us don't have money to buy sort of software. So this comes really good and handy. And again, as you guys can see, it looks really nice. Okay, so coming at number three, we have OBS, Open Broadcast Software. This is a really, really, really good program uh, for recording gameplay. Now, you guys can also record desktop. Now, you guys are probably thinking, isn't OBS for streamers? Yes and no. Uh, OBS can also record gameplay, which a lot of people use, and I find it really neat. I'm going to show you guys some settings right here, but uh, if you want to know the proper settings for OBS, I recommend you guys checking the link in the description. There's a video on showing you everything about OBS. But go ahead, and what you guys are going to do, uh, the first thing is click on settings on the top right corner, and then I want you guys to go ahead and click on broadcast settings. From here, you're going to want to make sure the mode is on file output only. It will be on live stream at the start, but make sure it's on file output. And video, make sure you guys have it on 1920 by 1080. If your computer is pretty slow, put it on 1280 by 720 as long as it's HD. And for microphone, you can adjust there. I have the Yeti st uh, stereo microphone. Microphone noise gate, you can control your microphone right here. And hotkeys, which I put 
when I record. But that's what you guys can do. Alright, and then once you guys got, got that done, click apply and OK. And now you're going to add a scene. Right click, add scene. Type in your uh, channel name from YouTube. And then go ahead and add a source. Now if you click preview stream when you're preview recording, you're going to see it's black right here, right? So you're going to have to add a game if you're recording your game. So you can right click, add. You can either add a, a game capture or monitor capture if you want to record your monitor. But I'm going to go ahead and add a game capture and input CSGO. So right here on the drop down menu, select Counter-Strike Global Offensive and then go ahead and uh, click OK. You're going to see it's still black, but once you click inside the game, the uh, recording will show and you guys can go ahead and start as you see right there. And it's a really, really good quality. What you get with OBS is awesome. Now coming out number four, uh, we have NVIDIA Shadow Play. NVIDIA Shadow Play is also a very good alternative to OBS if you're looking to record your uh, gameplay. So you can click right here and make sure you guys have NVIDIA Shadow Play on. You must have NVIDIA GeForce Experience to use this. Um, if you don't, that's okay, just use OBS. But as you guys can see, um, it's a pretty neat user interface and easy to use. So let's go back into CSGO and then uh, do Alt F9 to record. So as you guys can see when I go back in here, open it up, here's my CSGO gameplay. Now, it is a bit laggy on my end because uh, my computer was using a lot of resources earlier. Uh, so ignore the green lines you guys see. Uh, it actually records pretty good. Alright guys, now, coming at number 5, the last one. The reason I put this last is I'll tell you why. This is Smart Pixel Screen Recorder. This works for Android and Windows. Um, Smart Pixel, the reason I gave it a number 5, the very last one, is because it has a watermark. Uh, I don't like watermarks in my videos, but if you guys don't mind, this is also an alternative screen recorder software you guys can use. Smart Pixel isn't that bad, but it would be a much better if you can remove the watermark. Make sure when you guys have your screen recorder on, you click right here, expand to full screen. And right here where it says 480 pixels, it will be by default, click this. And you're going to want to go ahead and adjust the proper settings to uh, 1080p. So on size, put the drop down right here, HD 1080p, apply and OK. Now to remove the watermark, you are going to need a pro version, um, which I don't recommend because you can just use iSpring Cam. Um, it's honestly a lot better, but if you guys for some reason don't want to use that, you can also use this. And like I said, it records just as good. The only downside is the uh, watermark, which a lot of people don't like. Unless you put your own watermark into the video and cover it up, but it might not look that good. So let's go ahead and open up and view the file. And as you guys can see right here, there's the watermark. Go play. I mean, who's who's going to want to see that? You know what I mean? But like I said, it's free. What I personally use for my gameplays when I record is Fraps. I know Fraps costs money, but... Um, I do have a cracked version of Fraps in the description for download. It is the full free version, so make sure you guys check that out. Um, other than that, I would use OBS, and if you guys are looking to record your desktop screen, stick with iSpring FreeCam, as there is no time limit, there is no watermark, and it works just as good and records in uh, 1080p. That was my top 5 lists of uh, free screen record softwares for desktop and gameplay. I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys in my next one.